Hello and good afternoon and welcome to this video tutorial which I'm hoping is going to save somebody some time out there uh, if they happen to run into the same issue that I ran into here uh, with a uh, I picked up a Cisco uh, 1852i uh, 802.11ac wave 2 access point uh, off of eBay. Uh, I've purchased an 1832i it showed up sealed box I unpacked it literally uh, mounted it to the ceiling on the same bracket that I had a, uh, a 3602 I uh, mounted to and plugged it in it joined the controller downloaded the AeroS software and boom it was up and running within probably three to five minutes um, with this 1852i I didn't have uh, that same luck and it was partly in uh, caused by my sort of a uh, preconceived notion that uh, when this showed up it was going to be running in cap wap mode uh, which is sort of the lightweight access uh, mode where it's needing a controller in order to run and that's opposed or I should say that's the alternative uh, to another mode that these 1800 series access points run which is mobility express mode and what Cisco is trying to do with the Mobility Express code is basically push the controller functionality uh, off of a wireless LAN controller but pretty much onto any device can be you know the quote-unquote wireless LAN controller uh, and so one of the first red flags that I should have picked up on uh, and again I didn't even console into it initially I just took it out of the box just like I did with the 1832i that I have and uh, mounted it to the ceiling, plugged it in, or actually removed the other AP, plugged it in, and uh, it wouldn't come up. It would just sit there in the green light, and this is what was misleading, is the green light would sit there and blink every second, you know, and Cisco's documentation refers to this as chirping, where it would just simply go, you know, blink, 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 blink once a second, and it was blinking green. According to the documentation, they point out that that means that everything is functioning properly. It just hasn't joined the controller yet. So I'm looking on my controller, and I don't see it joining the controller. But again, I mean, it sat there for probably good. I let it go for almost 30, 45 minutes, and it just sat there and was blinking green, uh, and it wouldn't stop. So then I had to start do, uh, do some research, uh, and in all honesty, had no idea uh, that the mobility express mode you know that that was probably how it was ordered was with the mobility express mode on there I just assumed that as soon as I plugged it in that this 1852i uh, would pair up with my controller download the Aero S software the controller is currently running and then I'd be off and, and you know smoking fast 802.11 uh, AC wave 2 AP right above my desk in my office uh, so I wanted to show you what has to be done in order to convert this access point uh, from this mobility express mode uh, to the cap wap mode. So if for whatever reason uh, you know you're unfortunate enough to get one of these and it you know for shows up in uh, mobility express mode, uh, you won't have to worry about it. And so that eight one. 22 or whatever that uh, that version was that showed up there earlier I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here right so uh, this is the first screen that you see again I, I didn't initially console into it but once it wouldn't work I had to pull it back down off the ceiling console into it and so here's what I saw so it basically comes up says would you like to terminate auto install well if you say no right and it case sensitive doesn't matter it says auto install must be terminated in order to run the configuration wizard because again I have to run the configuration wizard in order to set this mobility express mode up and that is how this is currently uh, that that's the arrow s that's on here is for the mobility express so let's go ahead and say yes so administrative username I'll just say TB bond fee uh, the password ABC one two three uh, let's see use at least one of the okay so here I'll use I'll put something in here that I use but I won't say it out loud <laughs> right so the name will just leave the default country code US is fine NTP server no uh, system time uh, we'll just say no it doesn't matter uh, management interface IP 192.168.1.22 or 122 that's fine uh, put the net mask in here of my network slash 24 default router is 192.168.1.254 
No, I don't want the employee. I, uh, so, and again, so the all this configuration work that I'm doing here, uh, if if this was going to run as a Mobility Express uh, controller, then I would be setting all this up. In fact, when once this is done, uh, if you log in, and we will actually do that, enable RF parameter optimization. No, we don't do that. So, yeah, okay, everything is good. So let's go ahead and do this. And what's going to happen now is it's going to reset. Uh, so if I were you, at this point, I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to allow the video to run. That way it will show all of the debugging and what happens when this reboots and it comes up. So from this point right here, I would forward yourself uh, probably three to four minutes uh, ahead. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and let this run so there'll be some silence now until we get uh, to the login prompt. Quick note, you saw the 802.11 uh, AC Wave 2, and then there's that 82.112 uh, image message. And you can see the CapWAP interface, it says that it's down, because obviously this is not running in CapWAP mode. All right, so there we go. And at this point, uh, and this is, I've, I've actually been through this multiple times this morning trying to figure out uh, what the deal was, why I couldn't get it to work. And so if at right here, if I simply wanted to wipe this thing clean and go back to that install wizard, I would type in recover-config. Uh, and it says this is one time only. It's one time only right here, right? Uh, but once you reboot it, you have the option to do this again, right? You can do recover config again. So let's put in the uh, user information that we had entered in. So, excuse me, TP bond fee. So once I sorted out uh, the fact that it was the Mobility Express mode, uh, I was able to locate the Cisco Mobility Express deployment guide. Uh, so if you were to Google for this, you can see it was updated recently here, May 12th, so not too long ago. Uh, and it talks about conversion from CapWAP to Mobility Express. And you can see that that is the version of code, that 81122.0, which is the same version of code uh, that just so happens to be, actually we're doing the 82111.0, but we're after uh, that version of code. So it talks about converting 1800 series access points um, to be Mobility Express capable. Well, that's great if that's the mode you want to run in, but and, and unfortunately for me, I have a wireless LAN controller. So I don't need the Mobility Express mode. In fact, uh, the Mobility Express image uh, won't actually 
uh, won't actually work with a wireless LAN controller. So what do we need to do? Well, uh, you see here it talks about uh, the images that the different images you'll see in this this AP image type is Mob Mobility Express image. And I think this is either coming out of the show version or the show uh, running config. I didn't see the command up here. So, but these are the different uh, the different modes that it can run. And so, if I were to drag this down a little bit. Uh, it says converting a cap WAP AP, but that's not what we want to do. That's the opposite of what we want to do. That's actually, you know, what's been done. And in fact, not really what's been done. It's shipped this way. So, uh, but let me scoot back up a little bit because here it's a very short section down at the very bottom of this document. I apologize. My mouse is not cooperating here. Down at the bottom of this document, uh, it basically, it's a three-step process here to convert the Mobility Express AP, which is what I, my 1852 is running in, uh, into the CAPWAP AP. So it says connect and log into the AP through the CLI, and then type enable to get the privilege ex uh, exec mode. So I read those two commands, and I'm like, okay, great. So here we are, right? I'm logged in. Now I'm just going to type enable and hit enter. Well, this is what I was greeted with. So then I did the question mark. You'll notice there is no enable command. It, it doesn't exist here. Uh, and so then I thought, okay, well, maybe it was something in the auto config that I did or the, the setup wizard that maybe was wrong. Um, and then I ran through a series of these commands here with question marks afterward trying to figure out where is the enable command and why can I not get uh, into this you know, AP with the, the privilege exec mode here and the AP type cap WAP and set it up. And then I finally look down here at this little note and it says to convert multiple 1800 series access points running the Mobility Express image to cap WAP simultaneously. And the key thing is over here to the right from the Mobility Express controller CLI. Well, it just so happens that that's the mode that we're in. Right, as I'm in that Mobility Express mode, and this AP, the 1852, thinks that it is uh, the Mobility Express controller. And so it's actually this command here, which is pretty low profile. Uh, and again, it's, it warns you, saying it converts all 1800 APs connected uh, to the Mobility Express. And that's fine, because that's what we want to do. So it's this config AP unified mode. And then the switch name is simply the name of the wireless LAN controller, and then the IP address is the IP address of the wireless LAN controller. So let's run this command. So we simply say, and let me make sure I get this right here, config AP. So config AP unified mode. Now I'm already logged into my wireless LAN controller, and there is the name. It's the Evil Command Center WLC2. So I'm going to copy that and bring it back over here. And the IP address is 192.168.1.251. And so let's go ahead and hit enter. And then it says, warning, sending config unified mode to all APs will cause the wireless LAN controller to be rebooted. Now, they're not talking about my wireless LAN. No, they're not talking about this guy. They're talking about the Mobility Express mode 1852i access point. And so absolutely, we want that to get rebooted because we want it to associate with that wireless LAN controller that's on my local area network. So we're going to go ahead and hit Y here. Uh, and obviously, uh, it, it, since it's going to reboot, uh, this could take a couple of seconds. And again, I'll comment sparingly through uh, the output that we see here because we are consoled in uh, and able to capture everything. Uh, but again, what should happen is it's going to reboot this access point, and there we go. So it's going to reboot the AP, and now what we should see happen uh, is that it should join the wireless LAN controller. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll just, I'll let this roll here, and you're probably looking at about three, four minutes if you wanted to fast forward ahead and skip the output here.
All right, and you can see we've actually got the device entered cap wap promiscuous mode. We've got cap wap state discovery taking place. So now this is much different uh, than what happened the first time we went through this. Remember, all the cap wap was disabled. We didn't get any feedback, but now we are. So we've got this pre-check that's taking place, uh, which... And again, I'm going, yeah, and I was just about to say that it's probably checking the ROS version on the AP, which is that 82111, and that is not uh, the same. The bootloader uh, doesn't need to be upgraded, uh, but part two is, it says part to upgrade is part two. We're definitely going to have to upgrade, yeah, because I'm running 83120, and you can see, so this is, you got to love uh, being consoled in here to be able to pick up on these things. Uh, and see what's really going on behind the scenes. And you can see that, uh, and actually we're getting kicked around here because the screen is continuing to, to update. But right here, right, that pre-download, pulling the image down, the 83102 uh, image, and it's now no longer in that Cisco Mobility Express mode. It's now in what we call CapWAP mode, or you'll hear it referred to as lightweight mode sometimes, which just basically means that it can't function on its own. It needs a wireless LAN controller to associate with in order to be functional. And so we'll let this go ahead. And as you can, again, you can see here, 802.11ac wave two, uh, I believe it's a four by four, uh, four spatial streams. Uh, and everything looks good here. So what I'm gonna do now uh, is go back over here to the wireless LAN controller. Yeah, and everything looks good there. So if we're still still on the wireless LAN controller, if I were to say show AP image all, uh, we don't see the access point here yet, but this is where once it associates with the wireless LAN controller, this is where we're gonna see it show up. And so we'll allow uh, the messages, yeah, so it's still booting up, it's still coming up again. It had to download the the ROS, the 8.3 image that we that I'm running on my wireless LAN controller. Yep, DNS resolved Cisco CapWAP controller, right? So we're good, the CapWAP state is discovery. And then you can see, look at those responses, right? A lot of responses coming in, the radios are now firing up here. AP has joined the controller, Evil Command Center, uh, WLC2. So again, much different than that Mobility Express mode. And quick note, uh, not saying that Mobility Express mode is, uh, is any less functional or any less, um, or not as good as the lightweight mode. It's just that with my setup, I have a 2504 wireless LAN controller. I can't use the AP if it's in that Mobility Express mode. And then you can see here, CapWAP state, we're now running. Where CapWAP is no longer disabled, we're functional. So I've got the username prompt here, but let's step back real quickly to the wireless LAN controller where now we should see, and it'll probably have its, like that Cisco, like the, what is it, four hex character. Uh, yeah, so kind of gives you like this funky name, and then I'll have to go into the GUI and sort that out. But take a look here. Now it's running 83102, and you can see the backup image is that original image uh, that it had, right? So again, just to recap, what are we talking about here? Well, I ordered an 1852i. It showed up and was not set up in lightweight mode or CapWAP mode. It was actually uh, had the image for the Cisco Mobility Express. So we talked about the command that you would have to run uh, in order to convert it from Mobility Express mode to that lightweight CapWAP mode so that it would associate with my wireless LAN controller. And there it is. So hopefully this will save you some time uh, and kind of give you an idea as to how you can take that uh, Mobility Express mode 1830 or 1850 and get it to join your wireless LAN controller. And again, I'm assuming that the individual who I got it from uh, if they ordered it, they ordered it with that Mobility Express image on there uh, as opposed to uh, a lightweight image or a CapWAP uh, capable image. All right, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching and have a great day.